What's it going to be like up here? I mean, this is not cheap. Do you have to... Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not cheap. I'm dealing with it, with it right now, getting denied from apartments, trying to figure out where to live because I have bad credit. Uh, probably just going to have to, like, couch surf for a little bit. The realness is happening there. Max Frost, newly elected uh, member of Congress, at 25 years old, the youngest ever to hold position here. He told ABC News that he's going to be couch surfing, as you see, bad credit, waiting to get his paycheck. Oh, that part didn't really get pointed out because... These folks don't know how things work. The RNC tweeted about this and they thought, ha, got you. And think about what do you think they got when they tweeted this. It said Florida Democrat Congressman elect Maxwell Frost, whose salary as a member of Congress will be $174,000 a year, says he's probably just gonna have to couch search, couch surf for a little bit is what they said. And apparently that's a, a boom, bam, got you there. Well, by the way, have you ever noticed them talk about Republicans that are uh, screwing you and stealing your money and giving all these handouts to corporations and rich folks and how much they make? Have you heard them talk about that? Have they tweeted out $174,000 when it comes to what Matt Gates does, and what Marjorie Taylor Greene does, and uh, the types of deals that they make against your interests? No, they don't talk about that. They talk about that when it's a 25 year old guy who's talking about how he needs to couch surf because that place is too expensive. You can point out that number and realize that folks that make 25 to 30 to 40 to 50 thousand dollars a year even have it harder. But we're not going to talk about that part. Let's come back to what we're going with though, because apparently they don't know how this whole thing works. Because as regular people know, you start a job, they don't give you a paycheck on your first day. Maybe Congress is different, maybe I'm wrong, we'll see. But when it comes to these expensive cities, let's look at the list and how expensive it is just to live in these areas. Uh, Manhattan, Honolulu, San Francisco, Brooklyn. I wanna point out Manhattan and Brooklyn are both in New York, <laughs> but they're on the top eight list here. DC checking in at number five, and that's where we go for this particular story here. So. First, it goes with the amount of money he's making. This I feel like this stretches with athletes as well too. They go look at all this money that they're making as if they don't deserve to make it. As if there's aren't other folks that are making that much and more that are people that they agree with. The money comes up when they wanna put it back in your heads because we've brainwashed you to believe people like him shouldn't make this much money. They did the same thing with AOC. Look at her, how much you hate her and how much she should make that money despite everyone else doing it. But here's MSNBC host talking about how old he is. And um, again, I think it clicks on that a little bit. Let's watch. We're highlighting this race because Maxwell Frost is the projected winner here. He's the Democrat in this race. He's 25 years old. He is the first representative of Gen Z uh, to be elected to the United States Congress. He is 25, which means he was born in 1997, which I think <laughs> Is mathematically impossible? It is. Yeah. Actually, you literally. Did, you, did, you, did, you did not do that math right. I think no, you messed it up. I didn't do up. that math right. No. No, but he's 81. You did. I, I literally. You did. I'm joking. I literally have liquor older than him. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't go back. He's got a great. Now they were coming at him sideways. It's just one of those things that us old folks like to realize. Uh, I'm realizing it when I hired these two producers of mine, and uh, when they were born, I don't want to even bring it up to you guys because it'll make me feel horrible. But again, I mentioned AOC and her issues with renting. This is what was said at the time when they were coming from her for her for the same thing. AOC told the New York Times in a story published Wednesday, this is back when she was coming in, that she needs to wait until her congressional salary kicks in to get an apartment in DC. And it ranks among the most expensive cities in the country for renters. AOC told the Times she was preparing to move to DC, but the time before she leaves New York would be very unusual because I can't really take a salary. I have three months without a salary before I'm a member of Congress. So how do I get an apartment? Those little things are very real. As we know, they get elected in November and apparently this time around, they usually get sworn in at the beginning of January, but not yet. So this is gonna get extended even further. Uh, so David, uh, you know, you've been in the area, you've lived in some expensive cities. I believe New York, maybe even <laughs> DC. Um, 174 doesn't go that far, especially when you don't have the 174. Right, I mean, you're not gonna get a uh, three bedroom, two bath house in Georgetown for you know $174,000 oh, a year. Um, what's what's interesting about this though is also, I mean, look, DC is expensive, New York is expensive, a lot of expensive places. But it's almost as if I think this shows that the Republicans seem to have this, this thinking that if you're a member of Congress, you just cash in. Because they do, most Republicans and some Democrats cash in. They get money perhaps you know, in the form of money to their campaign treasuries from lobbyists and different corporate organizations and et cetera, et cetera. But it's almost like it's a surprise to some Republicans that there are some Democrats who actually 
don't cash in, who don't take the money either under the table or toward their PAC or towards their campaign expenses or all the sort of things that might pay for their apartment in Washington DC. It's almost like that's news to Republicans. And when you have a 25 year old or when you have an ALC who comes along and says, no, I'm gonna be ethical. I'm gonna live within my means. I'm gonna wait until I'm actually got a salary before I can actually pay for an apartment. It's like, really? There are people like that who exist and, that, and that's what the Republican tweet I think shows. Actually, you know, if you think about it, it's really hard to do. There's plenty of times people, you know, even if it's normal numbers, like, you know, you go from making 30,000 to 45, like, oh, jump in 15,000 a year, and maybe you do something different. Maybe you can actually, you know, get a used car rather than getting something off a lot that's 4,500 bucks. Something like that can change. So when it comes to these levels, yeah, you start getting these things. Now you have the apartment in DC, but if you lose that job, that con- congressional job, yo, that goes away. Uh, these things change and now you have to go back to living within other kinds of means, which maybe is why so many people start selling themselves out to hold on to that position. Because now they're living pretty good and the work as we saw yesterday is a lot of fighting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and there's a, look, there's a lot of uncertainty and most people who are in their 20s, at least I know myself included, when I was in my 20s in DC, I couch surfed before I could get an apartment and before I could afford to pay the deposit and all this sort of thing. And so that's just sort of what happens. And you know, good for this Congressman Maxwell Frost that he's figuring out, okay, I'll be sort of creative and I'll make things work somehow. Maybe I'll have to sleep in his office as some members of Congress have done before and eventually it'll work out. But again, this expectation that members of Congress automatically cash in automatically become millionaires overnight. Yeah, that does happen with people who don't care about the corruption in the system. But thankfully, there are the Maxwell Frost and the AOCs of the world who want to do this above board. In real world experience, some people that lived real world things, maybe they also contribute different kinds of approaches to legislation that can help folks that are in the positions that they were in.